The difference between torque and clamp. This is a recap of a presentation made at the AWEA Wind Power Conference and Exposition. The concept of torque is often misunderstood and is mistakenly considered the same as mechanical tension. With that in mind, it is beneficial to begin this presentation by describing exactly what torque is. Torque is actually the twisting force that is required to spin a nut up a bolt. Nothing more, nothing less. And as such, torque is only an indirect indication of tension. Tension, by contrast, is the stretching or elongation of a bolt that results in the clamping force and preload force being applied to the joint. To further clarify the nature of torque, here is the formula by which it is measured. Here, T is torque in foot-pounds. The value is the result of K, the coefficient of friction, times the nominal diameter of the bolt in inches, D, times the desired clamp load or tension in pounds. Note the K element, the coefficient of friction. It is critical to understanding torque. K, the coefficient of friction, is the problem child in this whole equation. It is very hard to predict or measure, and it is affected by a number of variables. Surface texture, fastener materials, oil, debris, rust, type of thread and formation, humidity, and much, much more. Now, here's the real truth about torquing a nut and bolt. First of all, the bolt can only be torqued to an estimated value. There is nothing precise or certain about this value. And then, there's that K element, friction, whose variability may result in a different torque requirement. The bolt may be understretched due to the K factor, or it may be overstretched, again, as the result of the variation of K. At the same time, tool output may not be accurate in terms of achieving the required torque. All in all, when you have an unmanageable variable like K, there are going to be unpredictable results, and you are left with inconsistent values in preload, tension, and clamp. Inconsistencies that can result in the failure of a joint. Now, let's look at real performance using a Skidmore Wilhelm test unit to evaluate 3 5 8 inch grade 8 nuts and bolts, each equipped with a lock nut. Each of these nuts and bolts are torqued to 180 foot-pounds. Now, while you may think that the consistent torque of 180 foot-pounds equals consistent clamp, note the variation in true clamp achieved in each of three installations, 15,500, 29,000 and 24,000 foot-pounds respectively. It's clear, consistent torque does not equal consistent clamp. To take this a step further, let's take an in-depth look at torque-induced tension versus tension-induced tension. Torque-induced tension, torque tension results from the twisting of a bolt in the nut. Tension-induced tension, by contrast, results from the simultaneous pulling on the bolt and swaging on the collar. To show the value of tension-induced tension, we use the same Skidmore Wilhelm unit to test the clamp performance of 3 5 8 inch bobtail huck bolts. Using tension-induced tension, these three fasteners exhibited the same exact clamp. That's clamp consistency. Note the clamp consistency achieved by tension-induced tension. Compare that consistency with the widely varying clamp performance exhibited in this example when torque-induced tension is applied, a variation of in excess of 87%. And torque-controlled bolts are no better. They may more effectively control torque, but they still do not deliver consistent clamp. The superiority of the tension-induced method is further highlighted by this chart. This tension-induced method results in an installation-to-installation -installation variation from plus or minus 5% to plus or minus 15%. Compared to the plus or minus 30% to plus or minus 45% delivered by torque-induced tension. Also note that one of the methods delivering the lowest variation is the swaged lock bolt.
A leading example of a swaged lock bolt is the bobtail, here shown as a fastener bolt and collar on the left, and as an installed fastener on the right. The bobtail is available in diameters ranging from 1 quarter to 1 inch, 10 to 36 millimeters. It delivers five times the fatigue strength of conventional nuts and bolts. Since it is installed with a smooth swaging motion, the installed bobtail does not leave a corrosion-prone pintail breakpoint. And that installation is fast, less than two seconds using lightweight tooling. A quiet swaging action is all that's required. The operator is not subject to the shock loads that are part of installing torqued-on nuts and bolts, as well as lock bolts that still use pintails. As you can see from this installation diagram, the tool grabs the tail of the bobtail and then pulls up on the bolt while swaging the collar into the grooves of the bolt. A reliable, strong, and fully vibration-resistant installation is achieved in less than two seconds. With this process, the quality of the installation is assured because that random K-factor, torque, is eliminated. In addition to easy and safe installation, two-piece huck bolts such as the bobtail deliver unmatched vibration resistance. Note how the swaged collar forms over the lock thread of the bolt, leaving no gap that is subject to the forces of transverse vibration. By contrast, regular nuts and bolts leave gaps, even when heavily torqued, and these gaps leave the joint vulnerable to the effects of transverse vibration. Because of the unique design of the bobtail, it is unmatched among other fasteners in terms of vibration-resistant performance. In fact, it has been certified by the DIBT as a maintenance-free fastener. Let's summarize. Torque involves twisting the bolt. By contrast, tension-induced tension, stretching the bolt, is the optimal means of stretching that bolt. Clamp is achieved primarily by stretching the bolt. The two-part process of pulling on the bolt while swaging the collar delivers a high level of consistent clamp and resulting vibration resistance. The process eliminates the variable K factor. Finally, the overall level of vibration resistance of the advanced bobtail huck bolt is confirmed by its certification as a maintenance-free fastener. The difference between torque and clamp in fastening, the difference between torque and clamp can be the difference between a vibration-resistant joint or joint failure. In wind turbines, reliable, maintenance-free joints are critical and can only be achieved through advanced tension-induced fastening, like that provided by bobtail huck bolts. Arconic Fastening Systems. Innovation Engineered.